Hello, this is uh, Rob Matthews, um, Vancouver Gadgeteer. I'll be explaining what um, the, uh, this is a thorough explanation of what killed the Ego Cycle 2 electric scooter, an American designed Taiwan made electric scooter that was launched around 2002 and um, it had some fatal flaws. And uh, I'll be explaining the different ways that we've patched it because this is one of probably the longest running Ego and um, certainly the world's only Ego with uh, a chain drive. Um, we modified it for a chain, final chain drive because the, um, the belt drive kept on breaking and about uh, 30 miles after riding it uh, or during riding it on, a, uh, on wet days. So, okay, let's, oh, over here, um, inside all the wiring connections, uh, all the wiring connections have been treated, um, or sealed, rather, with, um, they've been sealed with um, silicone to prevent moisture from coming in. And um, the charger went, went bad just uh, three days over the warranty, after the warranty period was over. Now, here are some of the other weak spots. The uh, Anderson connectors, um, uh, the plastic parts would break off, so it's now held by um, electrical tape. Um, <clears throat> these connectors, uh, we've added some, um, we've added uh, locking, um, um, lock, lock washers, so if they don't loosen up. And also, we have to treat these yearly with. Uh, MG Chemical Super Contact Cleaner to prevent uh, corrosion from forming. Um, <clears throat> the Ego motor, um, unfortunately, is a brushed motor, and um, this is now version 4.1, as you can see. Um, it gets very hot, so what I've done is I have a um, um, a auxiliary fan, which is fed by this XLR port, which connects to this uh, female XLR port which comes off the side. Um, so that, you know, I just plug this to that and the fan runs. You can see the fan inside. I'm gonna... Well, oh, another thing I'd like to mention is that the original brim um, wore, was worn out so much that it actually, uh, you know, the, the actual rim was worn out from breaking. So this is uh, an aftermarket rim, a replacement rim. Uh, which uh, is a double-walled rim, and um, it's also a lot thicker, and it has been, re you know, going really well. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, um, you know, just from use. I'm going to put this camera down there so you can see the um, um, the auxiliary fan. Also down there, there is a mud shield because one of the flaws of this um, uh, design, the major flaw from the chassis is that the, uh, the chain drive or the belt, original belt drive would throw mud into the chassis. So um, what I have is I have a mud shield somewhere there. So the mud shield prevents the uh, mud that's being thrown by the um, belt or you know, chain drive from coming into the chassis. If it weren't for that, this motor would be covered by mud and dirt right now. So, um, so that was another thing. Now, another another problem with this was the seat was not very comfortable. So what I've done is I have a double suspension seat post on it, and I have a noseless uh, seat, noseless saddle rather, so it's very comfortable. So, um, yeah, so every year these, uh, these um, uh, battery connections have to be treated with um, MG Chemical Super Contact Cleaner. By the way, these batteries are, um, these are actually used batteries that I obtained for free <coughs> and revived. Um, they've been running about uh, six or seven years now, um, even though they've been thoroughly abused by charging them at a very high Rate. I was charging them with a 15 amp charger, which was wrecking them. So right now they're uh, nominally about uh, 18 amp hours. Um, they're still 11.6 amp hours. This one here is 11.6 amp hours. 
after about seven years of use and abuse. <coughs> um, what else will be fixed? Um, oh yeah, this uh, this uh, the rear brake was very problematic. Um, only one bike mechanic could actually um, make this adjust it um, well. <coughs> It had a problem of rubbing, you know, it was just rubbing too much um, along the uh, the tire <coughs> and blowing out the tire. So, yeah, that was, this is, this brake okay, um, system was, on the rear, was not very useful. Okay, that's, uh, that's my suggestion. So, most important, to prevent the, a lot of people have problems with the keys. So, the reason they have, uh, they have problems is because they did not seal their connectors with silicone.